afternoon all. Pete in his beachhead. Talking to somebody on the beekeeping forum. Hello everyone. Uh, about my beachhead. This is my base. Look, it's, it's just a piece of timber, piece of pole going down onto the floor, some pieces going across there into the wall. And what I've got is the width of this frame here, from here to there, is the width of my brew box, which is a standard national extended, as you can see there, to a 12 by 14 deep box. So there we go. And what I've got here is just a bit of plywood. Okay, and that just runs then straight down and out to outside, you see. Okay, that's all I've got there. Things like this gap here, okay, don't worry about it because when the brood box is up against here, they can't get into there. Okay, same with that one there, and that one over here. If you want to, you could cover them up with mastic, but I don't bother. Okay, so that's all the, the base is, okay, and then outside, what I've got here is I've got basically a few pieces of timber. I've got two pieces, one, two, three, and uh, that's just to give like a rain shiver, and then I've got one there, one underneath just for a landing bay. And as you can see, and my girls there flying in and out in between the leather. The slot here is purely, I can put uh, covers in there, half inch sheet plywood, and then I can close the gap, shut the gap down, etc, etc, etc. As you can see, that's it there, look. If I was going to put another one here on the side, all I'm going to do is just two holes through and then join them up with the jigsaw. My boxes, my shed, the biggest problem you'll get with a shed like mine, it's steel box, is condensation and ventilation. So what I'm going to have in the bottom of mine is on the floor underneath the brood box. I haven't done it yet, but this is basically a, a big paint lid. Is we're going to have a hole on the floor underneath that sort of size. And then actually on the brood floor, another hole like that, you see. So we've got cold air from below the shed into here. And then what I'm going to have is again, no one up there like that up against the wall and that will just get me some air flows going around hole through the floor it's going to have 6mm mesh over it keep the rats and mice out etc etc but the air from below the shed is going to be a lot colder than the air at the top of the shed which is going to be hotter so laws of convention cold air in hot air out if that doesn't work I'm going to buy one of those uh, solar powered fans that they have on canal boats something like that and uh, I'm going to use that. As you can see at the moment, my bee shed is absolutely crammed with nucleus boxes and new frames and uh, more boxes there. It's just chaos in here at the moment. Can I just point out one thing for you? I've been going through my bees today and in this bad weather we've been having today, that's not been a joy. Can we just talk about one thing and that's hygiene, okay? Because I don't know if you can see the girls there that are dead. There's about six or seven bees there, okay? I've actually set that up, I've swept them into that area, but every time you open this area and every time you open the floor, you will have six or seven dead bees. And you need to make sure that your floor is kept really, really, really clean. Okay? I'd even go to the point of sterilising the floor every so often with some sort of steriliser like Jay's fluid or bleach or something like that, flash, just in case that, you know, you miss one, just in case that the fluid from the bee starts to cause problems, attractions, etc, etc. Okay, so that's the bee shed sorted for yours. Uh, the last thing is, this is a view from my shed window. As you can see, been chucking it down something chronic today. But my girls, when they leave the beehive, you're directly above it now, they have a 15 metre straight run up and out. Okay, so if you're going to set the bee shed up yourself, Try not to have it running over somebody's other allotment unless you've got like a fence six foot away and then that just force them up and over. Okay then mate.